Here we will use the chi square test for goodness of fit. So this is to determine whether categorical variable follows a hypothesized distribution. For example, so this shows the observed number of plates served at a restaurant over 5 day a week where the sum total is 250 plates. So these are the observed values. So if we were to say that about 50 plates were served every day over the 5 day a week, then the expected value will be this. So now let's see whether the categorical observed value fits the expected values. Okay, what we do is we'll just copy this and place paste it in pass. And then select all and carry out a contingency table chi square. Okay, so uh, this is for chi square tests of independent tests for independence or non association, but we are doing a, a chi square goodness of fit test. So this is between sample versus expected. So we click here. The P, uh, we can see that the P is more than 0 0.05. That means the the expect the op, the observed values follow fit the expected values. If we obtained a different observation Like this and then we can do the same test chi square okay so we have already ticked this earlier so you can see that the p probability the p value is less than 0 0.05 that means somewhere in the observe uh, data, it doesn't fit the expected uh, values. Okay, so you can do a post hoc by looking at the residuals. You can try uh, use the standardized residuals that give you the Z score. So, standardized residuals show the Z score, and you can see that these are more than 1.96. That means on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. The observe does not fit the expected at a p less than 0 0.05.